Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you another experimental build. This is I believe number 9 in the series. Uh, it's been a while since the last one but um, yeah we've got another one and uh, it's pretty good. It's quite similar to another build we've actually had in the past um, except one major section has changed uh, but the whole like premise of the build is pretty much the same. Uh, so getting into it, we have uh, Lunastra gear for, oh, well, apparently I haven't augmented this, but just imagine there's a health regen there. Uh, health and attack always for this one, um, since we will be relying on our mantle solely for 100% affinity. Um, if you want to get 95% affinity um, and then have Agitator clean it up, instead then you can go affinity augment but i'd rather just have the mantle with everything i have clean it up and agitate to clean it up when i don't have a mantle you know it's, it is what it is but the thing about mantles is that we're going to be having them quite a lot which is why i have focused mantles so hard here uh, you could pretty much put anything in there but um the reason why i put attack and crit is because if I put crit in there, we get 100% crit, and if I put attack, we get full attack boost, and it's a nice little, you know, increase of attack. Technically, I could put something like coalescence, peak performance, um, I don't know, how much does this give? It gives a good chunk, you know, from level 5 to level 7, it's actually quite a nice chunk, um, that not many perks can, you know, beat as a level 1. Um, I think Coalescence could do better there, but at least with this you don't have to have any setup and you don't have to be wearing the mantle to get the, uh, like, for example with Coalescence, if the mantle ran out, Coalescence would run out because the perk is gone now. Um, where if it's attack boost, I still have attack boost, just not as much, right? Um, so yeah. This is the build, very straightforward. 90% of it is crit. We've got a bit of Slugger in here to finish off uh, Slugger Secret because we have Frostfang gear on. Uh, this is a Slugger Tool Specialist build. Very, very small set of perks. You can't slot a lot of stuff in here. Um, I was really struggling to figure out which Lunastra gear I wanted. Um, but I settled with uh, the coil and the boots. The boots for a bit of tool specialist and good slots. Um, because the Frostfang boots aren't technically that good. I mean, maybe I could get a bit more out of this having the Slugger 3 boots with Attack Boost 2. Or Attack Boost 1, I think it is. Um, but I don't know. If you find a better version of this build, let me know. Because uh, I'm always down to find out. Um, better and alternative versions of builds that I have made. Um, but yeah, I went for the coil because it has health boost too. So I was able to just stick in, uh, as you can see here, tenderizer health. And then go full uh, tool specialist with crit boost. Which allowed me to get maximum tool specialist using this little slot here. Uh, so yeah, very straightforward build. Very, very nice. It's, very, it's quite powerful actually, uh, especially with a hammer. I haven't tried this with any other weapons, but if you do try this with another weapon, let me know how it plays, because, uh, yeah, it should be fairly... I mean, just remove the Tool Specialist, and pretty much any weapon can use this that does KO. Um, but the Tool Specialist is just nice, because you want you want those mantles up, you know. You want the uh, attack increase, the crit. As you see here, I've got 100% crit now, and we got over 2,000 attack. Um... And yeah, Rocksteady just lets us do everything without getting knocked around. And then having 50% uh, cooldown timer on that is really nice. So those mantle, I mean the, the flight mantle or the glider mantle will come back extremely fast. Look, look at it just rise. That'll be done. You know, really for how, how, much, uh, how much time does this normally have? 120 seconds, hell yeah. That's a minute cooldown, brother. Right Gets cut down to 60. And we've got 360 here. Which is, I mean, that's still a quite a long time, actually, cutting off uh, half of that. But it's not as... It's, it's, I mean, it's way better than what it would be, right? So, yeah. Very niche build. Um, not too much else to say about it. 
We're just going to show it off in a hunt as I normally do. It won't be anything too crazy since the build is very similar to stuff I've already done. And it's not very, like, you know, OP. It is not, there's nothing game changing about it. It's just faster mantle cooldown with your usual build. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, oh, glider mantle's back already. Anyway, we're just going to get into the hunt. Hope you enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, adios.